What is going on today, guys? Today we are back down by the river. I got my waders on. And today we're gonna be doing some more magnet fishing here in front of these river houses. If you guys see my last couple videos, we've been finding all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Now there used to be a lot more of these river houses back in the day, but there's only a couple left. And now you can see there's a bunch of these pillars. There is so much stuff in here, you guys, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Let's not waste any time. Let's start dipping our magnet around and let's see if we can find anything today. All right, guys, today we are back out here once again. I have my large 360 degree magnet with me. Let's get right down to it, start dipping and tossing and see what we can come up with. I thought I seen like a can or something, something in the shape of a can. Where did that go? Right here, right here. Is that magnetic? No, it doesn't feel like it is. I'm gonna just reach in and grab this. It feels like a can to me, or it looks like a can. Dude, it is a can. No kidding. I'm pretty sure this is like a coffee can, but that thing is solid. Yeah, I think that's concrete. If you guys remember a couple videos ago, I actually found something kind of like this just down that way. There is literally no telling what the heck is gonna come out of here. Let's keep searching. I think there might be something on here. Or no? Yeah, whoa, what is going on here? Ooh, a rope or a string. Ooh, what the heck is going on here, you guys? Is that a hammerhead hanging from the string? How is that even happening? Look it, it's snagged up in this little rope. That is 100% a hammerhead. Holy cow, that thing's pretty small. In our last video here, we found a hammerhead that was even tinier than this one. Pretty cool, you guys, check that one out. Then, looks like we pinched uh, some kind of plastic cover here. The old drink cover. Looks like a bunch of nails on here, a big bundle of rope. Who knows what's going on with that, but in our last few videos, we've been finding tons of this stuff. But underneath all of that, you guys, look at what's pinched in there. It's a piece of a glass bottle. And if you remember from our last videos, we were finding tons of those old green Coke bottles and almost all of them were still in good condition. This is just a smashed up chunk of one. Oh my goodness, look at this. You guys, I'm pretty sure I just caught a piece of like a fishing pole. Like one piece off of like a two piece fishing pole. I can just feel how it's flexible and bendy like that. That sucker looks old. Look at it, it's super bendy. Yeah, that's not a stick. That is 100% a fishing pole, you guys. You ain't fishing with that one no more. Uh-oh, we're snagged up on something there. Oh, look at that, you guys. Holy smokes, look at that knife. What do you think? Somebody on one of the river houses got whoo, whoo, poked up over a fish? You never know. Super cool, you guys. I'm almost 100% positive that I was standing on this one at some point. <laughs> I got me a knife. Whoo, 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 whoo. Oh, I just landed on something. Oh yeah, what the heck is this? That's like kind of heavy actually. Whoa. Oh, you guys, no way. At first I thought it was like a water pipe or something, but look at, that's a light socket. This is definitely like some kind of light post. And if you remember like maybe two videos ago, just by that house over there, I think I took my very first throw and I found something just like this. Only the one we found over there still had the lampshade on there. Yeah, and look at the bottom of here, you guys. There's still like the electrical cord hanging off of there and the plug. What in the world, man? Look at this. Here we go. Plug her into the wall, see if she lights up. Just stand back. Now I thought, I saw, yup, right here, you guys. I'm gonna try and show you. I don't know if you can really see it. There's one here and there's another one over there. Last time we were here, we were finding a lot of these old Coke bottles and it took a while to figure out what they were. But then we figured it out because some of them actually say Coke on it. You guys, look at this one. 
This one's still got writing on it. Pepsi Cola. That's not a that's not a Coke bottle, but a Pepsi Cola. I, I've never found one of those yet. I don't think. Holy smokes, you guys! These things are so cool. They gotta be old as can be. Like, what do you think? 70s? I really don't know, but there is literally another one right here. Yes, dude. Holy cow. You gotta be kidding me. I can't believe how good they look. Look at not a single chip or a crack in them. Oh my gosh. And I guarantee you, you can get money for these bad boys. So here I was trying to find a bottle that was similar to the one that I found, but I could not find a green glass bottle. So I don't know if the one that I found is like rare, but this exact same bottle I could only find in clear glass. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of old bottles. Yeah? Yeah, pretty cool, a lot of stuff. I found like half a toolbox. When I was a kid, this was full of these. That's what I've been told, yeah. Yeah, so there's no telling what the heck could be in here. You never know. Yeah, you never know, thanks. Have a good one. Oh, there's another one right there, you guys. Holy cow, man, there's gotta be hundreds of them in here. Look at this one. Dude, no way. That's a flipping Sprite. The last time I was here, I found a bunch of Coke ones. Then I just found Pepsi Cola. Now I just found a Sprite. These are like, these. I'm almost positive these are super collectible. Oh, look at that, you guys. If you flip it to the back side, no way. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna rub off the actual like Sprite symbol. You guys, that's super cool. 10 fluid ounces. We are definitely gonna get these cleaned up. These are so cool. Here you go. Anybody want a fresh drink of Sprite? Doesn't get any fresher. I think I just grabbed something there, ain't it? Kinda feels like it. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this thing. You guys, no flipping way. Look at, we had a couple things on there. First of all, I'm almost positive this is like an old school fish net. You can see all the rings on there that looks like it would have held the net. Now that's an old one, holy cow. And then to go with it, check out this little hook thing. We got a hook on this end and then like a loop on this end. Couple different things and then I thought I even saw a fishing lure on there. Is that what that is? Or is that like a leaf? Huh, it's just a leaf. Something on here pulling. The heck is this? Oh, check that one out, you guys. That is a massive window weight. You guys, I found one of these giant window weights here like a couple videos ago, I think over by that house. And I can't imagine what the heck these would be used for on these little river houses. I've found tons of window weights in the past, but normally they're like half this size and I find those ones by giant factories. So to think that you would need an even bigger one on a little boathouse, I don't know, you guys, that's pretty crazy. Whoa, look at that thing hanging off of there, the old bird claw. What the heck you think that is, you guys? Definitely some kind of tool. Is that like a, what do you call that? Like a gardening tool? It almost looks like a fishing spear, but the three prongs are maybe just bent. Some kind of tool, you guys. Pretty cool, not much left of that handle. That's how you know this sucker's old. Bunch of clams on there. Super cool, man. Ooh, I'm hearing some stuff click. Yeah, definitely. What do we got here? Oh, look it, dude, that's an insulator. Holy cow, that's like a tiny little brown one. Look at that, you guys. Oh, and it looks like it has a little couple cracks in it. And I don't know why, but I think these are so cool. They all come in like different shapes and colors. 
pretty cool you guys and to go with it it looks like we got us a piece of a chain link here and if you look on the end of the chain link it's got one of those like dog leash clips we've definitely found a couple of these in here also so i don't know what they had going on with these i'm guessing maybe some kind of like fish thing man you guys it's almost every throw in here you find something cool Ooh, a whole bunch of, whoa. Oh, I see some white on there too. What in the world is actually going on here? Seriously, what? there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Oh, dude, no, look at what's hanging from there, you guys. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me right now. I see a paint roller and we literally found one of these here like two videos ago. Look at all this stuff, holy cow. First things first, I don't know what that is and I don't even think that is uh, magnetic. It's almost like some kind of funky looking ply board. Then we had this big old spring stuck up in here and attached to the spring, we had a bunch of string or a bunch of fishing line, couple clams dangling from this sucker. Look at that. The poor clams, they got tangled up in the fishing line. And then if we follow the fishing line down, you guys, look at, I see a little orange fishing lure hiding on there. That one's probably junk, but Look at what it is. We got us a flipping paint roller. Are you kidding me? This is the second one I pulled out of here. And you know what's super crazy, you guys? Look, you can still see some of the green paint on there, even on the roller too. At first I thought maybe they might've dropped it in the river, but now that I found two of them, you guys, they probably got done painting the house and just tossed them right in the river. And then you guys, hidden underneath all of the scrap debris, we had a lid. No way. Selected small olives stuffed with Spanish sweet peppers. Holy smokes, man. How old do you think that one is? No jar to go with that one. The fish probably ate all the olives. Didn't even save none for me. What the heck? Oh my goodness, you guys, look at what it is. First of all, we caught like a big old hinge. Oh no, I almost just dropped it. Aha, I caught it, you guys. I almost dropped the bottle opener. Check that one out. And then look at what we got on the bottom. This is 100% some kind of like light socket, you guys, or like the light framing fixture. Tons of different cool stuff in here, you guys. Oh, I'm going down. You know what, you? You're gonna pay for it. Check this thing out. I don't know what this is, but it just tried to trip me. And I don't even think, no, it's not even magnetic. What is that? Looks like the old shower bar or something. Some kind of like, maybe a towel bar. Probably the old fish hose railing. You're mine now, buster. Oh, look at that. Whoa, couple things going on here, you guys. First of all, look at that knife. It's crazy how something like this can be under the water for who knows how many years, and it can still come up looking shiny blade and everything. What does that say on there? Russell stainless steel, made in the USA. Super cool, you guys. There's almost nothing even wrong with that one. You could cut some steak right now. And to go with it, check it out. We caught one of these funky looking flat wrenches. I'm pretty sure I found one of these out here last time also, but the last one I found had a regular head like that, but the other side was like a mix of a bunch of different ones. It was like a multi-head. Pretty cool. Look at that, you guys. Now we got two knives. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Underneath all the scrap on there too, Look at this one. Another flipping bottle opener, you guys. I find at least a couple of these suckers every time we come here. And it makes sense, you guys, because it goes right along with all these old bottles we're finding. These are so cool. Looks like it might be another one of them bottles. Oh, this is a small one. Yo, what is this one? Oh, look at that, you guys. There's like an A on there. Can't really see much else. You guys, that is super cool. Is this like a... 
Is this a beer bottle or is this something else? It almost looks like maybe could it be a, like a medicine bottle? Who knows? Whoa, look at this. Oh, what is that? Like a grill grate or something. The more I look at this, it almost doesn't really look like a grill grate, you guys. Kind of looks like maybe some kind of small rack or some kind of small shelving piece. Who knows? Dude, I see another bottle, you guys. I'm like not, I'm like having a hard time keeping tossing my magnet because I just keep seeing all these bottles. I want to get them all. Yep, look at, we got another green one here. And this one, I don't see any writing on there. No Pepsi Cola or nothing. That's just a plain Jane green one. But then right next to it, I think I see another one. Or what is this? Oh, see that one got smashed up. Now who knows, maybe I hit that with my magnet or maybe I stepped on it, but I know they're collectible 110% for sure. Now you're gonna lose my magnet. Where the heck did that go? Follow the rope, follow the rope. I lost my magnet, gotta follow the rope. Where did it go? I don't know. Will I find it? I also don't know. Oh, there's like a chain link here. Yeah, what does this go to? Whoa, hold on to your horses there. Whoa, big old chain link piece, you guys. And it looks like maybe some electrical wires or some copper wire. Well, that's pretty funky, you guys. I'm almost positive copper wire is not magnetic. Nope, not at all. So we definitely had this pinched inside of this chain, but uh, what the heck do you think this chain was being used for? I almost was expecting to pull up like an anchor or something. Dude, it is too. I thought I could see this under the water until it got all cloudy. Then I just had to reach in and grab it. You guys, I think it's another one of them coffee cans just filled with cement, but I don't see like an eye bolt sticking off of this one either. Pretty funky, man. And I'm like pretty sure it's the exact same size. Yeah, same type of thing going on here. What do you guys think? Oh, what the heck is this here? It's just attached to something, but it's like pulling on a cord. Yeah, what is that attached to? Oh, we just pulled it apart. You guys, my camera died as soon as I pulled this up, but check it out, you guys. It's another one of these electrical light socket things. Where did I put the other one? Right here. Now, we got two of these bad boys. Holy smokes. And then you guys, we had this sticking off of there and I thought this kind of just looked like a nail, but if you flip it around, check it out. That's a flathead screwdriver. Wow, what happened to the handle on that one? Bzz, bzz. Oh, dude, is that a bowl? I think we just caught a bowl or something. Yes, or a pot lid. Oh, we just lost that piece of scrap. Where'd that go? Right here, let me grab that quick. Ah, gotcha, you ain't getting away from me. Or I guess now that I have the mud out of it, it looks more like a pot, but it looks more like a pot lid than an actual pot because the bottom is not flat. It's like rounded. What do you guys think of that one, man? Definitely got some handles on the sides of there. Super cool. Oh, look at that, you guys. I thought there was just a bunch of scrap, pretty much, just a bunch of nails, some screws, couple bolts. But look at this one, you guys. This is a different style of bottle opener. This one doesn't have a pointy tip. You, you, this one, you just fit the bottle cap right in there and you 
pop that sucker off. Super cool, man. Oh, look at this, you guys. First of all, it looks like maybe some kind of small paint lid or something. About a hundred nails on there, but then look at this one. It's a little fishing net or like a little minnow net. Only this one is missing the net, just like the other big fishing net we found. You ain't catching no minnows with that one, man. Oh, I see a bottle. Don't, where'd that bottle go? Come here before it gets all, all dirtied up. Now I can't see it. Yep, right here, you guys. What do we got? A green one. We got any writing on there? I don't see any. But again, quick here before this gets all dirtied up, I think I see some more. Oh, that's a clam. Right here. Yep, another one. Oh, what's that one? What does that say, FC or something? It's got like a crown. Oh no, you guys, look at that one. That one's got a hole in the bottom. Oh, it's got the symbol on the side though. What do we got here? Oh, check that one out, you guys. Royal Crown Cola. I don't know if maybe this one is the same thing, but look at how they're all different shapes. These bottles are not shaped the same, but it does look like they have the same kind of green glass. We are finding these all over the place. It's just so hard to see them once all the mud gets kicked up. Ooh, what's this right here? Is that not magnetic? No, there's something here. Right here, I thought it looked like a, dude. It's a flower pot. Well, no wonder that one's not magnetic. That's like clay. We're sight fishing. Ooh, what's this? That one's really buried in the mud. Is that a bottle? It is. Whoa, look at that one, 50-50. Oh my gosh, man. We could plant us some plants and we could drink some 50-50 while we do it. Super cool stuff coming out of here today, you guys. Holy smokes, look at this shoreline. We got her loaded right up. How many bottles do we have now? My goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we got like two kind of smashed up ones. I'm pulling something. You'd be surprised how much stuff is in such shallow water here. Holy cow, man. First of all, check this one out. Another one of these hook things. Got a big hook on this end with a loop on that end. Ugh, we got some kind of funky looking bar here. The old cash money. And what else do we got on here? Oh, dude. Check this one out. That's a flipping file. Look at that. And it actually has a handle on there still. That's pretty cool. You can still see some of the file grooves on there. You could probably still file some stuff with this thing. Some more tools to go in the toolbox there. And then you guys hidden underneath all the nails and scrap debris. Check it out. Oh no, there it goes. You guys, we got us our very first railroad spike, I think in this entire area. If you go magnet fish from the old railroad bridge, you'll find these back to back. A little bit of cash money. Whoa, big old bundle of something going on here. Whole bunch of something. Check this out, you guys. Again, another giant knot of like rope and fishing line. I don't see any fishing lures snagged in there, but check this thing out that we got. Check this thing out, you guys. There's like a, yeah, there's like a knob on there. Is this for like some kind of old school lantern, like a heater, like maybe propane or something? This is definitely a switch here, so who knows? I'm gonna guess maybe it was covered in glass and the glass is all just broken. It's getting a little chilly. Turn the heat up. Aha, right here, you guys. I see another bottle, man. Just sitting in between like some bricks. Like, can you imagine the odds that this thing didn't get smashed? I don't know how old these things are, man, but they sure are covered in mud and they do look old. Dude, is that another one? Oh no, that's not one. We gotta do some bottle research. 
you guys, look at all these different bottles we found here today. We found nine different bottles. These are so cool, you guys. I'm pretty sure all of these are probably right around the same time frame. The glass looks like it. All right, you guys, that is gonna wrap it up for another absolutely crazy day of magnet fishing down by the river houses. Now, we've really only been poking around these two here, but like I said, you guys, back in the day, these things lined this entire shoreline. So if you think about it, there's no telling what else could be in here. And we definitely have a little bit of bottle research to do. I think just today alone, we found close to 10 bottles. And the last time we were out here, we also found a handful. Them suckers gotta be old. They gotta be collectible. I'm sure they're worth some money. Another absolutely crazy day, you guys. No doubt we are definitely coming back. I'm gonna go ahead, pack everything up, and I'm gonna get out of here for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on